What is FPV? If you know the answer to that, this video is probably not for you. However, I did buy the new DJI FPV digital system and, well, I'm learning a lot. Let's learn together. I've been a photography drone guy for a long, long time. And then I saw some of the amazing footage that people are getting with their FPV drones. And I had to do it. FPV stands for first person view. Of course, you get first person view with the DJI goggles, but generally FPV refers to race quads that are not GPS stabilized. Unlike a GPS stabilized drone, FPV drones will fall to the ground or into a wall or tree if you let go of the controls. What a lot of people don't realize about FPV is it's very uh, tinker heavy. If you're a tinkerer, you like fiddling with electronics and building stuff, you're gonna love FPV. The soldering gun and solder is one of the essential tools that you'll need in order to build your own drones. Or if you're in Australia, it's called soldering. <laughs> soldering, 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 soldering. There is so much to learn about FPV, including building and uh, battery maintenance and the lingo. I still don't know. I know the word bando. That's an abandoned place that you fly around. But I don't know if I'm young enough or hip enough to use these words. Ha <laughs> ha, you're old. There are three things that I have learned that you absolutely must do if you're going to get into FPV. One, practice, like a lot. Um, use a simulator or get a tiny whoop that won't smash apart when you hit stuff because you're gonna hit stuff you're gonna crash Two, find people that are experts people that are better than you are that you can learn from and three practice did I mention that one you got to do that a lot if you're interested in the DJI FPV system itself what it does is it replaces the analog system on your race drone with a digital system. So you're gonna to have to remove the guts and replace it with the DJI system. I've got Jerry Calverly on Skype. He's in Texas and he's helping me right now trying to uh, figure out, this is just some of the stuff that you'll need if you wanna get into FPV, to truly get into FPV and not just buy something off the shelf. I'm trying to make that leap with the help of Jerry who teaches a class on this in his high school so what we're doing is going to try to get the DJI digital goggles hooked up with an old uh, Copus one that I had and uh, so far it's uh, um, uh, how would you describe it Jerry <laughs> beginning it's beginning <laughs> it's the beginning and I want to thank Jerry in advance for ignoring all the bad words that I'll say along the way. <laughs> and there we go. I removed the receiver. This is what receives the signal from your controller. And I don't need it. So it goes over there. We've been at it for over an hour and a half. Uh, we're trying to be very careful with what we're doing. and. By we, I mean mostly Jerry, uh, because <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I'm basically his hands at this point. He's like, hey, put uh, the white wire on T3. I'm like, okay. So uh, that's what I've been doing. It's very intricate. Um, mm. They're talking a language that I can't decipher right now. Uh, they're, they're speaking the secret language of FPV builds. But uh, I'm trying to learn. The wire that we took off the receiver, remember when we took off the receiver and you did a video? That wire is probably the place where we put the, uh, the, the signal wire back on. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'm going to power on the drone for the first time with the system. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> no smoke. No smoke. So does the DJI have a light at all? 
It does, yes it does, and it's green. Oh, yeah. All right. So now I put the goggles on. Putting them on for the first time. I see a DJI. I hear a fan running. <laughs> Device is not activated. <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> so <laughs> what we had to do was um, the DJI unit would not fit inside. Although that would have been cool. So Jerry said... Just put it on top like a giant goiter. <laughs> and that's, kind of that's, yeah, it's a giant uh, digital tumor. So that's what we did. So we can use the copus after all, which is good because I already did that soldering. Because um, there's my other drone that I haven't built yet. It's still in pieces. Uh, so hopefully you're going to get this angle right and then put the antennas on here and props and uh, uh, take it take it for a spin. Well, we have to beta flight it. Beta flight. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> beta flight. The the yeah. the FPV or is speed bump to fun. <laughs> I got the camera at a learner's angle because the higher the angle is, the faster you need to go in order to be able to see where you're going. So that's a good beginner's angle for me. And then... Uh, Got all the wires and everything tucked in there pretty neatly. You can use the DJI FPV system without needing to use the DJI controller. Being a photography drone person, I'm just used to this form factor. I'm actually very anxious to use this. Again, if you are used to your FR Sky and you're just putting the DJI system on here for the video, you just leave your flight controller in there and you can use your uh, FR Sky controller you won't have to use the DJI one but again why have all that extra stuff in here if the DJI thing will do it for you if you're used to your controller and you want to use it that way that's that's fine it's very versatile but you can't really share the video with your pals unless they have one of these so that's the downside. Uh, analog, everybody can go along for the ride, but this, I think only eight people can. It only has eight channels, but hopefully DJI will wise up to that and uh, accommodate the social aspect of FPV. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a great picture. Now, I'm not wearing my glasses in here, but you can, and that was very important to me. In fact, I didn't even consider that before ordering it and when it came that was the first thing I checked and yes you can wear your glasses in here they have to be they can't be the big old 80s glasses but you can fit your glasses in here man that looks so good let me see if I can let you see what it looks like there you go awesome picture awesome and now some beta flight fun right Jerry Nothing I'd rather do. Win the lottery? Nah, beta flight. Get a massage from a pretty girl? Nah, beta flight. We got it. We got it. Uh, we got it hooked up. And it's uh, doing the spinny spin thing when you connect it. Yes. Okay, so let's go over to uh, receiver. See if it's hey. getting any. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is? So, yeah, we got, yep, we got, we got inputs. Okay, then we don't have to worry about UART, changing UARTs. I didn't want to change the UART. Well, we would, I thought we were going to have to because it doesn't have an S-Bus receiver. I mean, S-Bus port. I don't know anything of what you just said, but I didn't want to do any of it. <laughs> 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 oh, beta flight is so fun. Why don't they just call it beta fun? Huh? <laughs> oh, man. This, this thing is like taking a math test for three hours. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's very brain... Intensive. Intensive, yeah. Okay, is this where we choose what it's, I see in the goggles? Yes, on the OSD. OSD, on-screen yeah, display. I scroll down. For those who don't speak FPV. <laughs> I'm just learning myself. I'm not, I'm not proficient in FPV speak, but I can ask where the bathroom is. And isn't that really <laughs> what's important in any language? <laughs> it is. It's okay. very important in any language. <laughs> Jerry, thank you so much for helping me. 
Yes. Create this Franken FPV. And uh, quick shout out to your school and all the students. Yes, the Drone Interest Group in Mesquite, Texas, Horn High School. It's a few days later, different shirt, and I'm here at Paul Ward Stadium, which is the high school football stadium of my local town here. I'm a bit nervous about flying this for the first time, but that is because I come from a photography drone background where you have to be really careful, and if you bump into anything, it's smashed, and it's gonna cost thousands of dollars. These things are made to be broken. That's the mental block that you have to get over if you're gonna to try to transition from photography drones into race drones, FPV. I didn't bring any new props with me. Luckily, DJI made this pretty rugged. It's aluminum, the camera is solid, and clearly I'm stalling. Have I told you about the propellers? Yeah, okay, I need to fire this thing. Only brought one battery with me and one set of propellers. So, Hopefully that's enough to try this for the very first time without destroying it too badly. And it's recording. All right. Oh man, that picture looks so good. No, it's an acro. I can totally tell it's an acro. Oh my goodness, almost hit the camera. Yep, gonna crash, gonna crash, gonna crash, gonna crash, gonna crash. What happened? Oh, I crashed. I crashed and I lost video too. That's unusual. I lost the table as well. Oh goodness, this is not good. This is not good. Where'd it go? Where is it? This is the reason why I went to a big, huge field because it's kind of soft for the football players so they don't get hurt when they fall. Hopefully it's the same for drones. Oh, there it is. It's screaming in pain. Let's see if it'll, yep, it will, okay. It's still recording. I'm still in acro mode. I'm flying at line of sight right now. Whoa! <laughs> I suck, I know, I know. I need more time in the simulator. I don't like the way it shows the propellers in the, right in the middle of the screen there. Maybe I can, Move the camera. Let's try this one more time. Definitely in stabilized mode now. I am not getting good signal. I can't, I don't even know where I am. Oh my goodness. Oh, it hit hard. It hit hard. Oh, it hit really hard. I this the the signal went out. I couldn't see it. The goggles, this cord. Uh, you might think about putting a piece of tape or some something because this popped out a little bit and it didn't allow me to see anything. Oh man, it hit it hit the freaking fence. And now I have to do the sad long walk over to where it landed to see what damage happened. It's upside down. Oh no. Oh, well, the DJI stuff's okay. I think it's all right. I don't, okay. Now I know why the, the signal is lost because I lost my antennas. The antennas came off. Look at that, they just popped off. Lesson learned there. Boy, I wonder how much replacement antennas are from DJI or if they even have them because I think this thing's sold out. I hope it didn't hurt the unit transmitting with the antennas off. And now to look for the antennas in this vast field. Well, at this point, many of you Eagle Eye viewers already noticed that I didn't have the antennas on the whole time. I've been looking for about a half hour. <laughs> the sun's going down. I'm pretty embarrassed, and so is Henry. You can see the shame in his eyes. 
I guess that's part of the manic nature of FPVing. You get these incredible highs and then just gut punching lows. Yeah, the only thing left to do is to do that long, slow, dejected walk back to the car. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30. Will he go all the way? He's at the 20. The end zone's in sight at the 10. Woohoo! Touchdown! Yeah! Oh, hell, I gotta go back and get the camera. <sighs> Buh and bye. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way. And that's called learning. And that's good. So make the mistakes. But if you're interested in FPV, I can't recommend it highly enough. And just a side note, the batteries on these FPV drones are very volatile. They're not like the intelligent batteries that you are familiar with on your DJI or other drone systems. There is a novel of warnings on the back of each battery, and you want to be sure to heed those warnings. Unless you're a YouTuber that wants to demonstrate what not to do. The two in particular are, don't puncture your battery, especially with a pellet gun. Now. Done. <laughs> oh boy. That's a way to drain a battery. That's still going. <laughs> that, that was uh, two cells. I think it only did two cells. I'll shoot it again and make sure it feels okay for it. Yep. Oh, there goes the third one. Yep, I was going to say, I think it just went off. <laughs> wow! How about that? That's quite a smoke bomb. Isn't it? And I'll bet it's very toxic. Oh, so toxic. And above all, don't dispose of your FPV battery in fire. Even if you have a high-speed camera and it looks awesome. Holy. <laughs> oh, man! I'll have more videos on the DJI FPV system coming up on my channel. You can learn along with me. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate everybody supporting my channel. And uh, until next time, buh and bye. What do you think about that, bud? What do you think about that? Mm-hmm.